Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's Sunday afternoon, 4.40. I just got back from three shifts, which I did after I got finished at the Apple Store in the mall. Why was I at the Apple Store, you ask? Well, I took my iMac in to see if I could retrieve the information on it. Nothing could be done for it. Even the technician couldn't get it to come on. The mouse and keyboard that he had hooked up were responding erratically and almost pretty much not at all. And he said, all right, yeah, dude, I can't even get on to do diagnostics. That's indicative of a bigger problem than just memory or hard drive. That's a board issue. It's shot. It was going to be an exorbitant amount of money in my mind to get it fixed, considering I've already replaced it. And I just wanted to get whatever info was on there because I really wasn't sure what was on it. Probably not much because I tend to only put program files on the inherent hard drives of my computers, which after years of like having computers fail and losing a bunch of shit, I started putting external hard drives on all of my laptops. And then even with the iMac, which was my first desktop in years, I did the same thing where I had it completely hooked up to externals. So other than program files, nothing goes on the inherent drive of the computer other than those program files. Everything goes on externals or to the clouds. That being said, it's junk. So the monkey's gonna smash it with a hammer and I'm gonna go in there and see if I can't, you know, well, I'll take out the RAM that I bought. Not that I'm gonna use it, but somebody might need it or could use it. And I'm gonna see if I can't dig out the hard drive, do something with it, who knows. If, if nothing else, the thing that I'll do with it is smash it with a hammer, because why not? I'll let out some aggression. Okay, so real quick, I have been filming, as always, every day, constantly, th over the past two or three weeks. But I've just been too damn busy to be able to cut anything together. And now I have so much footage that I'm not going to take the time to go through it. It, it, it goes onto a hard drive. <laughs> okay, but what I am going to show you is what I had to do when the iMac failed. Now remember, I said during my freakout, but then after that I was done buying shit short of catastrophic failure. The iMac not coming on is catastrophic failure. <laughs> you know, it's shot. So what I did was I bought a Mac Mini M2 Pro and I spruced it up with with a lot of RAM and a way bigger hard drive than, than the base model because the monkey doesn't do base models because I want to future-proof myself. Now I got five... And in like, we'll just say five and a half years out of that iMac, keep in mind, that was my workhorse. It was on 24-7, 365 days a year for over five years. I did everything with that, including all of my editing and, and pictures. I did day job stuff with it. It was a workhorse. Then when I realized it was getting kind of like long in the tooth, I ended up buying that MacBook Pro, which then... I completely maxed that out so that I could do all of my editing and pictures and video and all that shit. And that took over for that. But I still used the iMac every day for day job and normal day-to-day -day shit. Now, this Mac Mini is going to be taking, you know, the, the workhorse reins as it stands. And hopefully it'll last me for as long as the iMac did. Hopefully longer. So, still have the MacBook Pro, but the problem was is that while I was using the MacBook Pro as the main workhorse, you know, it was stuffed behind the monitors here, hooked up as, as my desktop, and I wasn't going to keep disconnecting all that shit every time I needed to, to take it with me on the road or whatever. So for the past few weeks, I have, I have not been mobile with, with my MacBook, and that sucked. So that's why I was like, all right, screw it, I'm going to get the desktop. So here I'm going to give you a little tour of what I've done. Now, my editing station is no longer an editing station. I removed, and you can see the, the grooves in the, in the table for where I had the, the monitor stand. So the monitor and everything's gone. The keyboard and mouse and, and all that shit, that's going to go away. Right now, that's the power supply to my MacBook Pro and the mouse that I was using. But anyways, so this is now just where I'm going to film, and I can just sit there and do whatever and all that kind of shit. But I had to remove all that stuff to get it over to here. So now... Here's the newly set up main station, and this is where I sit day in and day out doing all of my day job and personal shit. So here is the Mac Mini. I got a Mac Mini M2 Pro. I got 
32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte drive. Then what I did was I got this CalDigit TS4 hub and you can see I have tons of shit plugged into that. This is my pro-grade card reader for my CF Express. This is a Samsung T7. That's staying there and that acts as my uh, time, what do they call it, time machine backup. So that's the backup drive. Now I also have this um, OWC Thunderbolt dock that I had bought for the MacBook Pro. And then this is just an old 10 port USB A hub that I have. So I can plug, like I got the printer plugged into it. Um, it goes into the backup power supply here. Um, pretty much most of the stuff plugs into that so that if we lose power, I have a battery backup that will keep it on for, you know, not very long, but long enough. And also surge protection. Then I had to maneuver everything on this desk to get it to fit the way that I wanted to. So the speakers and all that shit, I had to get those set up. They are literally angled in the correct direction so that when I play anything on this computer, it sounds like it's coming from right here instead of being off because of the way I have to sit here to accommodate work and all that shit. So all that stuff is all set up the way that I want it. Um, I got my Apple TV, the Verizon box and all that shit. And then my sound bar, and then here's the uh, volume and all that kind of control for the speakers for the computer. But anyway, so I've got all this shit hooked up now. Um, as you can see back here, I have my three external hard drives. I ended up going back to having all three of those hooked up. I removed one old like uh, SATA drive that I pulled out of an old Windows machine that I was using as my uh, time machine backup, but it's old and noisy and, and uh, horrible. So I got rid of that and I put those over there. Now, what I've done is I have the 14 gigabyte storage drive that has the bulk of everything that I do on it. Then I have an eight terabyte that has other shit on it. And then I wiped a 10 terabyte drive, which is the devious video uh, what I, that's what I named it. That one now will run all of my video stuff and all of my pictures and, and any files and all that kind of shit, those big things that need to go on there. So I have the A7 IV hooked up to this Anton Bauer external battery and it's just sitting on here and it's, you know, powering this thing up. I got like 10 hours worth of battery life on this thing. Uh, I figure this A7 IV is going to be sort of like my B-roll camera. So I have talked about this extensively and I'll get into it more, but I'm starting a second channel, which is strictly going to be for the photography, um, mostly wildlife, me going out and doing birding and, and nature and all that shit. But uh, in order to do that, you know, I got to be able to film myself better than I'm doing now. And if I'm taking the A7R5 out to do birding, I can't then film myself with it because it's going to have a 200 to 600 lens on it. So I've got all this shit ready to go. And I've got everything over here plugged in and charging and all that kind of shit. But just so that you can see, this is the way it sits now. This is all like now going back to day job, daily life, and some editing stuff. Uh, I'm getting kind of uh, over the whole setup here. <laughs> it's been a while, right? So at some point, I'm going to redo all that and we'll see how that goes. But for the most part, everything is now done. I've, I came back into town Friday and you know, the, the TS4 was already there and the Mac Mini was there. So I was able to get that all torn apart and rebuilt. And then some, I started downloading some of the software, but then yesterday while she was at work, I spent all day yesterday downloading all of the programs that I need and getting everything set up, you know, as far as like where things went. I did make one mistake. I put my filming folder on the hard drive of the Mac Mini. And I went to check the spacing and I almost crapped myself when I saw that I had used over 800 gigabytes of that one terabyte drive. And I was like, holy shit, how did that happen? And then I realized because I put the filming thing on there, it has 660 gigabytes worth of, of 4K video on it. <laughs> Oops. And that was all the stuff from when I went to go home and help my dad for that two weeks. So all that stuff is still on there, plus anything I shot after that. Um, and I don't know how I brain farted and put that on there. So I took that off, 
put it on the video external drive and then wipe that off of there. Now I've only used like 230 gigs of that one terabyte drive and that is, is the way it's supposed to be. And that's all, again, just program files and all that kind of shit. Uh, I guess the one thing I didn't show you or talk about was that I dug out my GoPro. I have a GoPro Hero 8 Black and I hooked that up to the monitor arms and all that kind of shit. And I have that plugged in here as well. And I'm using that as my video camera for the Mac Mini. Uh, this one, the Logitech, is actually hooked up to my work computer. So when I do Teams calls and all that kind of shit, you know, I've got that on there. So yeah, this is the new workstation. And this is the way that it goes. This is how I'm doing stuff going forward. So I had something else that I was gonna say, and I can't remember what the hell it was. So if I think of it, I'll tell you later. But for the most part, all of the footage that I've shot over the past three weeks probably won't see the light of day um, unless I go through and make a highlight reel, which I doubt. Uh, it's been horrible out. It's been like torrentially downpouring. So I kind of was excited that I was going to have all this equipment show up so that I could spend these next few rainy days in here getting all this stuff set up. So that's that. Okay, since I still can't remember what the hell I was going to say, that's all you get for today. And uh, sorry that I haven't posted anything lately, but I've been busy. Life intrudes, all right? So, all right, that's it. That's all you get for today or for the last two or three weeks. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.